Hey, I'm Jamie Dean. I'm back in my mama's kitchen. Today we're doing a family mm, anomaly, a uh, favorite, I don't know. It's a butter burger. So we're taking butter and putting it into ground beef. Do not buy regular ground beef when you do this, y'all. You're going to need a lean one. We're adding the fat with the butter. It's really delicious. Mom's been doing these for years and years. It's very simple. Take one stick of butter, cube it up into little bitty pieces like this, and then put it into your freezer. You're gonna to wanna to make sure and start with frozen butter so as this cooks down, it takes a little bit longer, and then all that flavor will work through these burgers. So I've got one stick of frozen butter, I have two pounds of lean ground beef, like you know, a 93% lean, 7% fat. And to this, we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt, now, my favorite thing about coming over here and doing these recipes is that I always get to tell y'all how I do it as opposed to how I am doing it. If I do a regular burger, always salt and pepper. That's it, salt and pepper. And I do an 80-20 when I do regular burgers, but I also take a fresh onion. I was just telling my friend, because he said, my son said your burgers were better than mine. I take a Vidalia onion and really chop it up really fine. And I work the Vidalia onion into the ground beef before I cook it. Boy, you talk about a flavor punch, it's delicious. And then we also gonna add some garlic powder. Mama loves salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Another teaspoon of that. And I'm gonna be careful and just kind of twist this frozen butter into here. Out of these two pounds, y'all, I'm gonna get five patties. And there is really no good way to do this with a tool, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. And you don't, you don't wanna really overwork your meat when you're doing it, you really want it to be just enough to kinda stick together and get all of our seasonings and this butter through all the burgers. Now, this is a skill, and I don't, I don't, I'm not very good at very many things, but I can take an amount of hamburger meat and patty out where they're all the same, usually on the first try. That's from years and years of experience. But if you like to go inside of your bowl and say, well, this is one and this could be one and this could be one and this could be one, then you kind of have a place to start and say, oh, this one's a little smaller. Or you can just make six burgers, it doesn't matter. But with these, I'm gonna make five. And I like to pat them out pretty flat and make sure you get a little a little bit thinner towards the middle than the outsides. And that way, when this is done cooking, you won't have a hockey puck. You know what I mean? How they kind of draw up and get round on you. So I like to do a little bit of almost a indention there. And when the center rises up, it's the same as the outside and you don't get some funky looking burger. These are gonna be good too. My cousin Jay, who would not eat butter for anything, he was a really healthy eater. Mom made these one night and he said, he asked mom when she was doing this, Paula, what are you putting in there? And mom said, well, this is garlic. And he ate two of them before she told him that it was butter. And of course he didn't complain because they were so good. One, two, three, four. Five. We don't do little baby burgers around here, y'all. We're getting ready to eat. I'm gonna put these on the, <clears throat> I'm gonna put these in the air fryer, about 350 degrees, I don't know, for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, see how it goes. We're doing air fryer butter burgers, y'all. Don't go anywhere, hot meat coming up. Okay, y'all, while our hamburgers are cooking, let's talk a little bit about what goes with those. Your hamburger bun is really up to you. We have uh, grocery stores around here that make these French hamburger rolls, really good sandwich rolls, and I love these. I've been making burgers on these. See, I've been married 18 years, probably 20 some odd years. If I'm cooking burgers for just me and some friends, this is the ones that I like to use. Nice and hearty. It doesn't uh, soak through. I really like it. It's a good landing spot for a burger. And also take a little bit of time and let's get your, your plate for accoutrement, which means burger crap in French. I gotta have lettuce. I'm gonna have pickles. 
you got to have tomatoes and I love instead of like a purple onion which a, a lot of a lot of businesses like to use purple because y'all been around our kitchen long enough you eat with your eyes first and purple is a lot prettier to look at but as far as a flavor goes you're not gonna beat a Vidalia onion. So I love to keep Vidalia onions in my house for everything, and a burger is one of them. It's not too hot, adds a little bit of sweetness, and it gives you that crunch that you really like. You hear people talk about it all the time, but all the different textures and colors in your mouth, you can almost pick out every single flavor. Now we're getting up into the summertime now, so we've got these beautiful vine ripe tomatoes. I'm, I like to go ahead and salt and pepper my tomatoes so people don't have to work with it. I like salt and pepper on my burger, so that's what I do. And then it gives it a little bit of chance to soak up some of that. Love a little bit of pepper and salt with my tomatoes. Anything else you can think of you want to put on your burger is fine. My last recommendation would be make it bacon. You cannot beat bacon on a burger. It's going to be so good. we got a few more minutes left. And in the meantime, I want y'all to think about, this is a cold bun and we're gonna have hot burgers. How are you gonna heat up your buns? Y'all stick around when we come back, I'll show you how I do mine. Thanks y'all. <laughs> Butter burgers y'all, let's go. This is my favorite part, cause we right next to the eating. Cause bubble burgers, great day in the morning. Now watch this trick. I take my cheese and I fold in the corners like this, like a little package, and I put it on the bottom. Now, some of my favorite people are friends of ours at Lake Oconee, and I made burgers for them one night. Megan said, who put the cheese on the bottom? That's a great idea. And this family are, they're restaurant people as well. And I thought, well, look at me. I came up with a good idea. I like it on the bottom because when you take the bun off the top, you can dress it. I'm gonna add a little bit of bacon down here. Now I'm gonna show you how I heat up my I burgers. Love the way you folded the cheese, cause otherwise it melts all over and doesn't get on your burger. Sure does. So I'm gonna put these burgers right on uh -huh. top. Now this is what you gotta figure out, is how you wanna heat your buns before you're gonna do it. And this is what I like to do. Another favorite person of mine, who lives down in Louisiana, Chef Nick. I put a picture of this on, on Facebook, on, uh, no, I don't do Facebook, Instagram. And he said, you got the meat locker. So I like to stack my burgers up top to bottom like this. Got to go side to side. These are some big old burgers. Oh, oh. And you got long fingers. And yeah, now, yeah, I'd have to put my leg up there and use. Hold it with your feet. Use, I'm going to use one of my feet. <laughs> well, that's okay. I've had a lot of practice with this. And then I get this real airtight like this. And now I've got my burgers in a locker. And now you can. You never heated them that way. What a if wonderful you cook, idea. Uh, thank you, Mom. If you cook these on the grill, I usually put this right on top of the grill and let it sit for a few minutes. We're going to pop this into the oven for like three minutes, just enough to melt the cheese, the bacon, and the bread. Don't go away, it's worth the wait. It sure is. Okay, y'all. The meat locker. So my buns are toasted, my cheese is melted, the bacon is reheated. I love to serve them this way. I love a nice warm bun with my burgers. I do too. <laughs> well, I got you one, mama. So you can... And we've got all of our condiments fixed out here. So if, I love butter leaf lettuce. If you want Me some lettuce, too. if you want some tomatoes, if you want some onions. Yes, please. Sometimes I just go pickles. Go no mayonnaise, no mustard. You might want to leave for this part. I'm Jamie Dean. This is good food. See y'all around the not kitchen. Not too big, Jamie. Not too big. You're going to choke. Mmm. <laughs> is it delicious? So good. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.